For News OK TV with your Oklahoma weather forecast, I'm Dave Morris alongside Angie Bruss. Yes, and after a very hot weekend and a very windy no one kidding. as well, Tuesday in Oklahoma looks to be cooler. But not exactly cool. Highs around the state will be in the upper 80s and lower 90s, but that is a nice change with the 100 degrees we felt recently. And there is still a chance for a storm or two down south around the Ardmer area. Looking ahead, expect temperatures to climb back into the upper 90s as we get into the work week. Athlon's annual college football preview is on newsstands, and the magazine has Alabama number one and the Oklahoma Sooners number two in its preseason projections. Of note to Sooner fans, Athlon ranks Florida State number four. And as you know, those two teams play in the third week of the season, OU versus Florida State in Tallahassee. Oklahoma State ranked number 12 in the preseason poll according to Athlon. That mysterious group that oversees the internet voted this week to allow new domain names based on themes. For example, groups able to pay the application can petition next year for new updates to .com and .net, so .apple or .ipad would take you right to those products. That's pretty cool. The application process is arduous. The fee is $185,000. The guidebook's 360 pages. Applications for new domains begin January 12th. The Oklahoma City Thunder has the 24th overall pick in Thursday's NBA Draft. The Oklahoma's Darnell Mayberry says the mid to late 20s have historically been a hotbed for players that fall through the cracks. Alyssa Campanella is America's latest Miss USA winner. The California model is a self-described history geek and admits she played Angry Birds backstage on her iPad before Sunday's pageant. Clarence Clemens, the larger-than-life saxophone player for the E Street Band, who was one of the key influences in Bruce Springsteen's life and music for four decades, has died. He was 69. Clemens died Saturday night after being hospitalized about a week ago following a stroke at his home in Florida. Well, Green Lantern was the box office champion this weekend with an estimated $52.6 million in North America ticket sales. Super 8 was second with $21 million, and Mr. Popper's Penguins came in third. The Flaming Lips have put their psychedelic stamp on a dusty old brick building at 25 Northwest 9th and Automobile Alley over the Memorial Day weekend, not long after releasing it from owner Steve Mason. The Flaming Lips frontman Wayne Coyne, his wife, artist Michelle Martin Coyne, found an art gallery in at least part of that space. Well, the Tony Award-winning musical Oliver opens the 49th season for Lyric Theater. The show runs the 21st through June 25th, and other shows this season include Hairspray, Ragtime, and A Chorus Line. <laughs>